So this is your home, Mualani. Paimon can't wait to have a look around. Ah, see, what did I tell you? A dip in the hot springs after a battle is just the best. Fetch me a bottle of wine, would you, dear? Just one? Let's get another. It's still early in the day, isn't it? Want to go to Golden Dusk later? <laughs> now this is a vacation. Absolutely amazing. Wow, it's so lively around here. Is there some kind of holiday going on? We try to treat every day like a holiday around here. We believe every day is worth celebrating. Now, let me show you around. Hmm, where to start? Shochikwi Cattle Records, Kalamchi Plaza. Oh, there's so many options, but I recommend starting with the real highlight around here. The hot springs, of course. Natural hot springs have tons of health benefits. Go for a nice long soak and you're guaranteed a good night's sleep. Uh, wait, you want us to bathe? Here? Oh, don't be shy. Come on, I'll take you to get changed. Mualani! Huh? Oh, Auntie Atea! <laughs> Please, I've told you that just Atea is fine. Do I look that old to you? <sighs> Were you taking these two to the hot springs? That's right. Oh, let me introduce you. This is the Traveler, and the small one next to her is Paimon. They only just arrived in Natlan, so I'm taking them around to experience our customs. Hi there! Ah, uh, I'm Mualani's neighbor, Atea. By the way, Mualani, I heard you lost a Kachina during the pilgrimage. Is that true? Yeah, I was this close to winning. Oh, definitely not the result I wanted, but still not too surprising. Kachina's always been strong. Anyway, it's all in the past. I'm gonna take these two for a dip in the hot springs. Talk to you later. Oh, wait. You'll need swimsuits first. Hmm, I'm sure I can find you something lying around the shop. I'll go look. Hold it right there, young lady. Have you forgotten the rule about bathing in the hot springs? Rule? Oh, wait, you mean... There's a rule about bathing in the hot springs? That's right. Outlanders have to complete a trial at an artificial hot spring before they're allowed access to the natural ones. It's not nearly as scary as it sounds. Basically, natural hot springs have higher temperatures that not everyone can withstand. A few travelers have gotten scalded by the water in the past, so now we have an unwritten rule. All outlanders need to adapt to the lower temperature artificial springs first. But seriously, Auntie Atea, do we have to be so strict? These two are formidable adventurers. I know they can handle it. <laughs> Famous last words. The hot springs are not to be underestimated. You can never be too careful. Besides, the environment's been unstable lately. Could be a sign that the abyss is about to attack. Oh, that sounds dangerous. You know, Paimon's really not all that formidable, so careful is good. Exactly. There will be no excessive risk-taking on my watch. Mualani, take them to the artificial spring first. Okay, okay. That's more like it. And don't try anything funny. I'm heading to the artificial spring in a bit, and if I don't see you there, your days of popping free meals at my place are done. Relax, relax. Oh, by the way, Atea, how have you been feeling lately? Much better. How else would I have the energy to keep an eye on all you rascals? <laughs> hey, you over there! How many times have I told you no roughhousing near the hot springs? Oh, shoot! That weird lady's back again! Uh, run! Uh, stop right there! Ugh, you need a stern talking to! She sure has a lot of energy. <laughs> She's a legend in our tribe. Everyone knows her. Back before I inherited my ancient name, she was one of Natland's most renowned warriors, famous for her love of hot springs. In fact, she often threw parties at the hot springs. She referred to anyone who came to these parties as her hot spring buddies. The attendees were all respected warriors like Liliuo, Kayulani, Vichama, oh, and the Archon. If Paimon lived here, she would take advantage of the hot springs too. 
It's just... During battle, she was impaled in the abdomen by an abyssal monster. The doctors managed to save her life, but they made it clear that she could never bathe in the hot springs again. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. Oh, no wonder she has so many scars. Iman had no idea she was so seriously injured. That's normal. She never talks about her injury. She's worked tirelessly over the years to dig up artificial springs so that more and more people can experience our tribe's natural wonders, even though she can't enjoy them herself. I really respect her for that. Anyway, let's head to the artificial springs. If Auntie Atea gets there before us, we're gonna be in some real hot water. Oh, I see. That's a great idea. I like it. See, I told you the chief would agree. Well, let's get moving then. We can't let a word of this slip to anyone else. Hey, Amina, Hikaru, Marokao. You three seem particularly cheerful today. What's the occasion? Oh, Mulani, <laughs> you're back. Um, <laughs> who are these two? This is the Traveler and Paimon, two very important guests. I wanted to take them to the natural hot springs, but Auntie Atea caught us, so we had to come here first. Oh, what a coincidence. We were just talking about her. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Really? How can you tell? Okay, so while you've been busy with the pilgrimage, we noticed that she's been visiting the hot springs alone at night. Yeah, specifically, the hot springs in the cave to the north of our settlement. I'm sure you know the one. Apparently, she used to go there a lot before they became abandoned for some reason. She could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Yeah, so we got to thinking, what if we renovated the abandoned spring behind her back, then threw her a huge surprise party? Chief Amina thinks it's a great idea, too. So, you want in? Of course. How could you even think of pulling this off without me? I'm a little busy right now, though. I'll come find you once we're done at the hot springs. <laughs> of course. Take your time. You should focus on our guests for now. These artificial springs are pretty new, but the experience is just as good as the natural ones, if you ask me. We really worked hard on them, so I hope you enjoy. And you two, I know you want to focus on Atea's surprise, but don't forget your patrol duties in the meantime. The Abyss could attack at any moment, so we need to stay vigilant. You got it, Chief. We'll keep an eye out. You can count on us. All right, we're off then. See you at the abandoned spring, Mulani. I'm also gonna head out. Have fun! Finally, it's hot spring time! Oh, I already arranged swimwear for you guys, by the way. Come on, I'll show you to the changing room. So, what do you think? Can you feel the warmth relax every muscle in your body? Yeah, it's so nice. The steam is warm too. The first time I came to the hot springs, there was no calming effect whatsoever. I was such a little ball of energy, the moment my parents looked away, I ran off to the high temperature pools. It was actually pretty funny looking back on it. They were absolutely frantic, looking for me all over, until finally they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. A natural-born swimmer, my mother called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. So feel free to go for a swim. I'll be right here if you need rescuing. Okay, here goes nothing. Ahem. <clears throat> Auntie Atea. You really came to check on us? <laughs> of course. And I'm glad you listened. I brought you all some milk and snacks as well. I'll just leave them here. <sighs> the temperature in the artificial springs isn't too high, so I went with Soros crackers and grain fruit chips. See how you like them. Oh, thank you! Um, mm, these are great! Well, I did make them myself. <sighs> Very few young people know how to truly appreciate hot springs, so listen carefully. 
The temperature of the hot spring not only determines the type of snacks you should choose, but also the amount of time you should spend in the water. To bathe in a hot spring is to completely empty your mind. As such, swimming around the pool is incredibly disruptive and impolite, and something you should absolutely not learn from Mualani. Hey! <sighs> All right, looks like you were able to adapt to the temperature, no problem. You should be able to switch to the natural springs then. Well, I've got to get going. Oh, and make sure you drink your milk. I'm looking at you, Mualani. <sighs> I still remember how you used to pour it into the water when you were little. <sighs> that better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. Ugh, okay, okay. Paimon didn't think you were the type to do something like that. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd totally get away with it too. But turns out milk is pretty easy to spot when you pour it into clear water. Hmm, not my best work. Some people get dizzy if they stay in here too long. You guys all right? Paimon's fine, just a bit stuffed. <laughs> Looks like you two are naturals. Oh, by the way, I have to leave you on your own for a little while this afternoon. I'm gonna help the others fix up that abandoned spring. I certainly don't trust their aesthetic tastes. Who knows what will become of the place if I leave them unattended. In exchange, though, I can recommend a couple of shops that are worth a visit. Huh? Yeah, she brought us snacks and taught us about the hot springs. We want to do our part, too. Friends are supposed to help each other out. We'd feel bad otherwise. Well then, the more the merrier. All right, we should get going. Let's organize the best hot spring gathering Natland's ever seen. Mulani! Wait, you brought our guests too? We're here to help! But you're important guests! We can't put you to work! All right, all right. Stop trying to out-polite each other, would you? The sooner we get this party started, the sooner we get to enjoy the real party. Now, where to start? Hmm, looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. We'll need to dig under it. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as well. Oh, they're moldy as all get out. Ugh. Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth, wood, and decorations. Oh, and snacks too. I say we get enough for 20 or 30 people. Bulk purchases fetch the best prices after all. Oh, but don't just accept the first offer they give you. Uh, uh, I'm not good at haggling. Why don't you go? Hey, I'm not any better, and I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, how about we handle things here while you three deal with the shopping? Yeah, that works too. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. All right, let's meet back here later. Hey there, Yellowfath. Hope business has been going well. Well, if it isn't Moalani, back from the pilgrimage? That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. Wow, that is a large order. What's it all for? A party? That's right. Uh, keep this between us for now, but... We're throwing a hot spring party for Auntie Atea. Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? That's great news! How about this? You can have the decorations on the house, and I'll give you 20% off the cloth and wood. Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. At this rate, you need to get rid of it or it's gonna go moldy. All right, all right. <sighs> Such a handful. Just give me a moment while I pack all this up for you. Wow, that was amazing, Mulani! <laughs> all in a day's work. By the way, Yellowfath, are these two stones for sale? Interested? They won't come cheap. I'm not planning to haggle this time, I promise. Package them separately, would you? Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets, so whenever I come across something like that, I always buy it for her. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice little surprise for her when she returns victorious from battle. I'm sure she'll like it. All right, that should be everything. If you could just double check, make sure nothing's missing. Let me see. Huh? What's this crate of juice doing here? That's on the house. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, Atea saved my brother's life. 
She never asked for anything in return, but I could never forget what she did for my family that day. So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun! Oh, we will. It's gonna be a party to remember. Thanks a lot, Yellowfath. Well, that's our shopping done. Let's head back. We're back! How's everything going? Wow, this place cleaned up nice. You got the water unblocked too! <laughs> Good work! I would hope so. We spent all day clearing out debris from the bottom of the spring. Did you guys get everything? Oh, we brought back tons of stuff! We set it down near the cave entrance. Alright then, roll up your sleeves everyone and let's get back to work! Actually, why don't you two take a break? I'll handle it from here. Traveler, mind lending me a hand? So, I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could draw something on the wall over here, and the snacks and drinks can go over there. So, what do you think? It looks amazing! I might have no idea you were such a great designer! Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family store, so I'm pretty good at things like renovation and organization. Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Still, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. Guess it's too late to invite Auntie Atea over, huh? Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. Chief Amina set up those patrols to guard against the Abyss, and Atea volunteered. So she's on watch tonight. I see. Well, guess the surprise will have to wait until tomorrow. Hmm... This could actually be a good thing. She can relieve all the exhaustion of keeping watch all night by soaking in the hot spring! Ha! <laughs> She's gonna love it! Well, let's call it a day then. Traveler, Paimon, you must be tired too. Come on, I'll take you to the inn. Alright, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, good night! Ah, my mind's exhausted. We really went all over the place today, didn't we? Anyway, we need to be well rested for the party tomorrow, so let's head inside. Why now? Uh, hi? What's with all the noise? Traveler, Paimon, wake up! Mulani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? It's the Abyss. Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. Uh, Mulani! A little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment! I'll be right there! Really? That's perfect! I've been waiting for the chance to fight by your side. Hang in there! We're here to help! We've cleared out most of the monsters over here. Thanks for your help. It would have taken me ages on my own. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. Amina! Oh, it's you three. Thank you for helping clear out those monsters. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where'd they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but... We don't have enough manpower to take it down. An abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gate created by the abyss. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. All right, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? Of course! We can't just sit back and do nothing! On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. 
Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. Whew! That should do it, right? I don't see any more monsters, so... Looks like we're in the clear. Do these attacks happen a lot? Must be hard on your tribe. Yeah, it makes things hard sometimes, but... That's how our ancestors have always lived. Besides, the Abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are. Fighting back is the only option. Come on, we should head back. Huh? What are you looking at? Is there something over there? You're right! Mualani, look! They're coming from that direction! Wait, that area looks kind of familiar! <sighs> what? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovations. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, so it's up to us. Huh? Seems like the monsters are decreasing in number. Come on, everyone! Keep it up! <laughs> Atea, what are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is still here. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> Mulani and Atea. What's going on? We were told a second pylon was over here. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Quick, someone get a doctor! Yeah, all right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is, they didn't destroy anything. This is a beautiful hot spring, by the way. I can tell how much work you put into it. Wait, no! This was meant to be... a surprise. <laughs> For me, right? I know. Atea! <laughs> you think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. It couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. <laughs> and you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you, you have to choose them based on the temperature of the water? Oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together and I'll help you make whatever you want, okay? You just have to hold on. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. What? The crystal has been purified? When? The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Atea! Atea! Wait, what do you mean? What is this? Some sort of purification? The abyssal power, it's being cleansed away! How can that be? I never knew that was even possible. <coughs> Atea! The mark of the abyss. It's gone. Yes, thanks to the Traveler. By the way, Traveler, are you alright? I just saw you purify Abyssal Power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? You're sure? Good. Good. Oh, thank goodness. You scared us all half to death just now. All right, everyone, head back and get some rest. We'll meet here tomorrow. We'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our triumph over the Abyss. And most importantly, we'll show the Traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Dismissed! Got it!
Got any other secret powers I should know about? <laughs> oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight, so thank you. Hyron almost forgot you had that ability. You used to back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. She could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Keep her eyes open. <laughs> Not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. You sensed it, didn't you? <sighs> I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. <sighs> but looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Who, me? Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey, uh, where are you going? Just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there if they need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. All right. Sounds great. Mualani. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, Atea, what's going on? You're acting strange. Traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. <sighs> I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friends saved my life in that cave. And because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But the hot springs, <laughs> I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh, Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I... I had a bad feeling then, but I didn't want it to be true. I... wanted to believe you were actually recovering. <sighs> you want to know something? Recovery, death... To me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But Death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. <sighs> I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines. Especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the Abyss, even at the end of my life, but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there... 
It made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. But I've done what I needed to do. The future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, I am always with you. I understand. Seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too sick to fight, I never took it off. Just tell her it embodies fond memories and my strength of will. <laughs> She'll know what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. We'll make sure she gets it. All right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. Traveler! Atea! Mualani! If you don't hurry up, there won't be any snacks left! Excuse me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Uh, hey, are you listening to me? Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. So forge ahead and don't hold back.